Hey folks, That Fix It Guy here. So I'm at my friend's house. He discovered a little drip underneath his kitchen sink the other day, and we're gonna check it out. So come along, let's get to fixing. All right, so if we get up on this disposal tee right here, this is where we've got a drip. After I looked at that, that is not our only problem. Check this out. I tighten this up and it doesn't actually tighten. That's weird. This thing has got to be something wrong. It doesn't look like it's cracked anywhere, but it certainly has got play. Yeah, it's, it is not right. You should not be able to do that with that gasket. First thing I recommend here is putting a towel down. Go ahead. You got to take this top nut off right here. Uh, that could be fun. So we're going to take some big channel locks. And we're going to get a grip on this part. And then we'll get a grip on this part. All right. Bam. Just enough to be able to pop that apart right there. So I got one of these little contraption by Rigid. And for this style of basket strainer, it doesn't work super well, but it kind of fits down in there. And it's going to allow me to hold this back. All right. And then we'll get down here and try to and angle this other one out. So while holding that, try to get this off. So weird. And pop it out. Okay. Get that out of there. Get this all cleaned up right here both top side and bottom side, you can do from the top. All right, so I don't know what the deal is, whether this is oblonged, it was manufactured wrong, but I know that the fact that you can do this with it and snap it like that, that's not right. Definitely a first. Now, we're gonna have to take this piece off to get this nut right here off, because we're not gonna use that one. We'll get a different one. So what I'm gonna end up putting in here is this sink strainer with a tip free design and it actually inserts with some screws. I have used this type of setup, just not this particular style. So Kohler makes one like this that has three screws and I've used that in the past. And you know what, it works really well. They're actually quite good. And we're gonna see what this one ends up doing for us. Now, one of the things that I will end up doing with this because I don't necessarily trust that some of these screws won't back out once I get this tightened in. And we'll hit it up with a little thread locker. This is gonna be really DIY friendly, especially since you only have three screws to tighten up. Let's see how well it holds up. So one nice thing about this is, this is stainless steel. This is, looks like it's some form of a molded stainless steel and so is this. Right, so there's no pot metal in this whole thing. I'm gonna grab a little plumber's putty, get that working, form this into a long snake, like about as thick as a fat pencil, and get that rolling right around here. That's all nice and packed in there. So now you just make sure everything is cleaned off around there and you're just gonna put this in. I like to try to line up that cross as best I can going straight forward. Get that nice and in there, get a little push down. Okay, so now if there's a little bit of plumber's putty sticking out right here, I like to just wipe it around and try to get some of that off. Why? Because this little black washer needs to seal right around here, right? I don't want it to smush out too much right there. So it wasn't a lot, just a little bit to knock off right there. I read that it said just hand tighten these. I don't know that I'm willing to actually just hand tighten these, right? Do yourself a favor. You're going to end up going a little tighter than that. I don't know. I put this down, started this way, just because I think it's going to be easier to, to actually tighten it up evenly if I go with that washer, the metal washer, and then the rubber washer. And we'll just get this put in here. on there get that tightened and started so 
that's a little bit down. I want them all to be the same. That's probably good, it's starting to get a little tight. So before I tighten these though, what I was thinking is I'll take a little bit of this blue thread locker and I'll just put a touch right up at the, the edge here. And if you squeeze just a little bit, it'll actually suck the rest back into the tube. And now we'll just tighten all these up evenly. So if we just did that hand tight, this is where this is setting and it's not even down enough. It hasn't even really pushed out a lot of plumber's putty. We got a lot more to go. You could use a screwdriver in this slot. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this little adjustable jaw. I guess until it becomes annoying to me. All right, so we got that all hooked up. Let's have a look and see how that peels. Oh, that peels pretty good. That's gonna peel pretty good. That's all in there pretty nice. Let's see if we can tighten it just a little bit more. Give it a little bit. Sometimes a little plumber's putty likes to ooze out. I like to let it sit for a minute. So we've got this tightened up where we want it. And now we're working on this part of the drain, right? So we are going to, we're going to take probably about a half inch off of this right here and see how that looks. So now we'll take this piece, slap this nut over it because that's going to go right there. This little washer right here is going to go inside. Sometimes I put a little mega lock on this. These washers, especially the rubber ones, definitely can be reused. Get that put there. And how I said, like, this might have to come off. Well, that's what we're gonna have to do. Probably should have just moved, removed this whole thing and it would have been a lot easier. Get this right here, down inside there. Get that to where we want it. This actually looked like it was a pretty good seal. I mean, it probably was leaking from the top. I am just going blind. Got that one tightened in there. So we get that pushed up as far there as we can. This is still pretty loose. Get that up there. Get that tight. Make sure this is straight. Get that tight and get that tight. Except for this piece right here, we're gonna have to put the channel locks on that a little bit. Just snug. And now we can give her a test. We let it set. And now we're able to just peel that off. Just hit it with the utility knife or something and boom. Oh, don't let that fall down in there. Yeah, that's good. That is a nice, that's a tight seal. So I just don't want any issues with it. You know, my buddy has had so many issues with this house. Everything's all good. Nothing's leaking. We've tested both the garbage disposal and the main sink here. Good to go. So it's funny how you always have weird plumbing firsts, right? The fact that this thing is one, like a little bit broken or eaten up and then it's actually oblong and it doesn't really work the way that it should. You can actually snap it in place past this. It's so crazy to me. It just, it's weird. I hope you're finding some things useful. You know, seeing things that you've never seen before. My first time, right? I've been doing this 20 some years. This is crazy. I really hope you folks are enjoying the videos. If you could please subscribe, click that like button. We'd love to have you keep coming back. Check us out over on Facebook. We're on Twitter now. We're doing something on Instagram. I mean, we're just trying to help people everywhere. Thank you very much, and we'll see you again real soon.